I'm Tom Frame. This effect was first published in Harry Lorraine's Apocalypse magazine in August 1995. It's the strongest card magic effect I do without ever touching the cards. The participants do all the work, amaze themselves, and have no idea how they did it. Sweet. So if you dig my videos, please spread the word and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Joining Jeff Price at the table today is my lovely wife, Jan. Guys, I've been speaking to your employers, and by the powers vested in me, I hereby fire both of you. Yay! Jeff, you don't really work anyway, so it doesn't really matter to you one way or the other. But don't worry, I've already set you up with new jobs. It delights me to inform you that you now work for a blind date recruiting agency. I, I knew you'd be pleased. You start today. In fact, you start right now. Jan, here are your clients. The deck represents lonely men and women in search of a partner with whom they can fall in love, marry, and live happily ever after. Or they might just be looking for a one-night stand consisting of wanton sex and possibly the use of hand puppets. Their motives aren't important. You have a job to do. To put your skills to the test, you need to randomize the client pool. That's a fancy dating term service for shuffling the deck. To ensure maximization, maximal randomization, which is even better, <laughs> cut the deck precisely in half and shuffle halves together as evenly as possible. And to maintain client confidentiality, keep the packets face down on the table during the shuffle. Before you actually shuffle, I must tell you guys that at a convention several years ago, Jan traumatized Roger Klaus, Chuck Fain, and Steve Bedwell with her stentorian shuffle. So brace yourselves. Bring it, baby. Give it your most precise shuffle. Excellent. Then slide the deck out here. Jeff, if you would take the deck, give the deck a cut and complete the cut. Very good. Now, the nice thing about this job, Jan, is that you get to decide if you want to recruit men or women. Men. men, men okay. Here's what you do. Pick up the deck, hold it with its faces toward you. Now, in a deck of cards, the kings represent the men and the queens represent the women. So, Jan, the two of you have shuffled the deck, determining the location of each and every card in that deck. So, from the face, begin spreading through the deck and look for the first king that you come to. When you find that king, table it face down on the table right there. Continue spreading through the deck, get the, come to the next king that you come to, and table it right beside it, right there. There. Very good. Continue through the deck, looking for the third king that you put in that particular spot. There. Excellent, keep going. One more king to go. There. Very good, square the deck up. Don't disturb the position of anything. You put the deck in that position, keep it that way. Hand the deck to Jeff. Jeff, take the deck, hold it face down. From the face, spread through the deck. Look for the first queen that you come to. When you find it, put her right there. Continue on, look for the next queen you come to. There, you get it. There. And there. Very good. I'll take those off your hands. Nice thing about this effect is I never have to do anything. You guys do all the work. And you'll get all the glory if things work as planned. Let's see how you did. Jan, if you would, please turn those two cards face up right where they are in position. Woo! So far, so good. Jeff, you can turn them over as a pair if you like. Good. Here we go. Jan, please, right there. All right. And Jeff, the final pair, if you would, please. Yay. Congratulations. Perfect matches all around. Well done, guys. We get the job. <laughs> You're hired. Yay.